All right, so today, today is just a little bit of a trail riding day. Uh, Brian, aka Penny, is uh, testing out his new KRX that he just picked up for his wife. Colby's got his Ibex buggy out. Trying to get some miles on it, get his son kind of acclimated to riding in a buggy. So I'm riding with Rick today. Hopefully he doesn't kill me since we're just taking it easy today. I'm gonna try. I mean, not to. I'm gonna try not to. Kill you. Try not to kill me. Yeah. How much money you got on you? Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. I just told Jacob to make sure he was in low and lock and you pull up open differential. It still ain't locked. It's in lock. It might be broke. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's either a, that's a broken differential or a, yeah, that tire ain't pulling at all. That tire ain't pulling at all. Yeah, I, I think I broke it yesterday. It's right behind you. Don't back up anymore. Huh? Don't back up anymore. They pulled up right behind you. I don't think I'll be able to get up it. You're gonna have to back up and get your tire up. Yeah, I'm about to get up here. Yeah. Can I get up there or not? Yeah, back up a little bit farther. Rick. Back up a little bit farther. There you go.
Colby, drop it in the hole. March 13th, Hawk Pride, come check out Outlaw Off-Road Racing. Uh, we're going to be doing bouncers, side-by-sides, and our new Pro-Am class. Come check it out. It's going to be a good time. That's March 13th. I don't know. I mean, you can edit this. We're going <laughs> to yeah. edit all this. We want to thank Interco Tire Corporation for being the title sponsor for Outlaw. Always taking care of us every year. We're going to have some tires to raffle off at the end of the year. Yeah, we also want to thank Mid-America Off-Road Park, Modern Diesel Legion, Alpha Gorilla. Of course, a little shameless plug there for... Alpha Gorilla. Devin Castle's doing a lot of our photography and helping us with our website. I want to thank him. Uh, Wolf Creek Customs, they're a sponsor again. Come check it out. It's going to be awesome. If you race all five races with Outlaw, you get a uh, free entry into our Bounty Hill. It's going to be a $15,000 Bounty Hill as of right now. That could go up. The finals will be at it's Davis, crossbar. Oklahoma. Crossbar Off-Road Park. New, they're going to cut us a new hill that's not been run before for the... the new farm. hill. Uh, all, all the race courses this year, we're going to try to mix it up. We don't want to race the same hill, give the fans what they want to see. So with the Pro-Am class, I think we're going to get a big, huge turnout with those guys. It's going to be huge. You know, there's a lot of competitive people that want to race, but they might not want to race or have the big, big horsepower and big tires and 
they still want got to a, race. Got an old trail buggy that uh, they want to race with. We're trying to introduce racing and outlaw to new people and get new fans and grow the sport more and more. And that that's our plan for this year, 2021. It's going to be bigger and better. We just want to thank our sponsors, our fans, and the parks and the racers because without all them, we're nothing. So. Anyways, appreciate you guys. Come check out Outlaw. Uh, subscribe to Alpha Gorilla on YouTube. So you can probably tell from the video that uh, we were talking in the Can-Am <laughs> just a little bit and then all of a sudden uh, we were passengers and different rigs. So uh, what happened? I think it's just a loose nut behind the wheel. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just staying, I'm batting a thousand every single time I come out to any part in this Can-Am, I'm breaking something. Oh, it's because he drives so easy and uh, I mean, I doesn't, doesn't doesn't hit it hard. So, I mean, I try to baby. I take care of it. You know, I keep I wash it. You know, not now. You know, I, I on my birthday, you know, I'll get, I'll get crazy. Get a little, <laughs> little crazy in there. Jump. Well, we're thinking that uh, the smart lock on it uh, isn't too smart anymore. I believe it's... Yeah, it's kind of about on the same level as the driver uh, on intelligence level. It's not smart at all. I was at... Uh, Hawk, I went to Hawk, Hawk Pride yesterday to uh, scout out some race hills for Outlaw. And once I got done, I was like, hey, do you mind if I get on the short course track for a little bit? And so I was whipping around there for uh, 10, 15 minutes. And I heard a pop, but never noticed and when i got here this morning first little hill uh snap crackle pop and uh smart lock went full moronic like its driver 
the front tire was not pulling at all as soon as it wedged down in that little hole it was uh it was done i mean y'all seen the videos before i don't know why it just it won't hold up to it i, I mean I, I mean i really a baby it Take it easy and it just it just doesn't last it's not munz proof we got to figure out how to munz proof this thing the smart lock is is not smart right now but we're going to get that fixed and uh we're going to send it back to school and try to get a little bit of more education on it all right so that's uh it for today's video uh like i said earlier we're not doing anything just killer killer just trying to get some miles on the two krx's and uh, let colby put some miles on the the ibex and we'll see you guys later make good choices yeah